What's up, I'm Grizz. Welcome back for more Death Note. I really don't know where Rem's gonna take this. I, like I said last discussion, I'm kind of hoping Rem doesn't just kill off L and then we move into like a whole new story because that's gonna make things kind of boring and uninteresting to me. And I feel like this needs to be done different. And I honestly feel like it's gonna be different. So yeah, hopefully that isn't what happens. And I actually have no clue what route Rem's gonna take here, but I'm assuming Rem's not actually gonna go out of her way to try and kill L. so. I'm praying that's not the case at least. So yeah, if you enjoy it all, please hit the like and subscribe. It does really mean a lot to me. Feel free to also stick around for the discussion afterwards and leave any comments down below about your thoughts on the episode or just anything in general that might help me. But yeah, let's get going with episode 15. <laughs> See, oh. <laughs> it's interesting because it goes against everything that he said about wanting to be the one who kills him, but I also wonder if he's having regrets specifically about the friend thing. And he's like starting to like feel bad, maybe? I don't know. But I don't think so, because Light's not really that kind of person. <laughs> we are not all of us. We never reached that point. Mm. Uh, <laughs> for the streets, bro, she got three? Oh my god. <laughs> no, we can't. Please leave. Yeah, she was here till like 11 the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah shut her up i guess this just gets me angry i fucking i hate light so much she just wants to be around you and you're ruining it Ugh. Hi. yeah she's got of course she's gonna listen she's gonna do little things for her <laughs> messed her up dude she's gonna be out of it for a couple hours yeah, what's your hold up, buddy? As in the police, but they're not even sus you to begin with. <laughs> yeah, is that what told you up? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if he's trying to do this as like a, a distinction type of thing. Like a clear distinction between who like L and Ryuga are. What is he doing? <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just pay attention to that. <laughs> he knows it's coming. <laughs> well, just, you know, things happen. Yeah, I thought some, I thought a different way now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I never even thought about it that way, but you're right, so that's why I never thought about it that way. <laughs> I hope Misa shows up at the school. It bothers the shit out of him. Unless he noticed the dude following him. Oh. <laughs> it's also true. <laughs> See, okay, so I don't know why you would tell him that, though. Is he just trying to prolong it so he doesn't die? Because we know he's scared of dying. Yeah, yes! Yes! Oh, I wanted this so much. Yes! 
<laughs> she can see. But how are you gonna tell her this is him? That's not his name, though. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> what did you notice? I actually don't know what he could have noticed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. This is great, but bad, but great. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Yoshi. Nice. あとは電話一本で名前を聞き出せる。気に入っててくれ。だから、だからカーっとメイク。そうですか。ファローアップ。ジャストファローアップ I feel like this just isn't going to go back to her, though. Uh... Hey. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking great. He purposely did it. They didn't drop anything. Did he take that one too? <laughs> Oh, okay, they didn't call it yet. Oh. Uh, the light, something came up. <laughs> we found the second one. Oh, really? Damn. Oh, my God. This is wow. Oh, that's what they were. <笑>あのビデオ。僕が徹底的にしたあの、ビデオ。僕が徹底的にした。あの、ビデオ。僕が徹底的にした。あの、ビデオ。僕が徹底的にした。あの、ビデオ。僕が徹底的にした。あの、
見ていられなかった。自由。この苦しみから救い出す方法は一つ。デスノートの所有権を放棄。ガチャ。そうだ。デスノートの所有権を放棄すれば、デスノートに関する記憶が一切消える。はあ、自分のノートによる殺人も、ヤガミライトがキラであるという記憶もなくなり。Yeah, that's rough on Rem for sure. Omae was Shinigami no Kotoa, Isai was Sreder Komisa no Skina Ningen wa Yagami Raito. Sono Kanjo Dakeva no Dakara Misa, Noto no Shoyuken wo Hoki Ste, Sbete Yagami Raito ni Takse. Ima mo misa wa desnoto no shoyu sha ja nai. Ima no omae ni totte wa kore ga ichiban nozomashii hoho da to wakatte ite. Watashi wa misa ni teyan shita. Misa o taske dasa na kereba omae o korosu. Boku ni kangai ga aru. To bring you in? Sayonara da, Yuku. Uh... I don't know. I have a thought. I don't think it's right though. I have a thought. Okay, I have a thought. I have a guess, a theory that's going to be completely wrong. I also have a few questions regarding some things that don't make sense to me. Okay, the thought about the end scene. Goodbye, Ryuk. I don't believe Light is going to forfeit the Death Note and have like no power whatsoever. I believe he's going to forfeit his with Ryuk and see if he can start one with Rem. Because if he's able to do something like that, Rem probably won't get in the middle and kill him and we'll just have to watch something along those lines, if that makes any sense. I, I don't know why. That's that's kind of my idea that's going behind this. But I, I don't know. That's all I can think about. I don't know if any of that's possible or if that's going to be the case. But I, I don't understand. Like, I don't see the reason why he would just get rid of it and then have nothing to fall back on and no powers at that point. Because then how is he going to form this world that he's been trying so hard, you know? I, I don't I don't understand that reason. Now, overall, with the episode, fantastic. We cranked shit up to 350% and we got roll in this episode. And I absolutely love it. And there were so many, I guess, subtle things that they just showcased and didn't really understand why or what it was for. And then they all led back into something else or didn't seem as significant and then led into something else, which was really, really cool. First, the phone thing with Misa having multiple phones ultimately leads into the moment when Elle grabs her phone and gets a call from Light to like determine whatever, right? And then the DNA, like him having like the hair or just whatever like things were left on like some of the messaging and like packaging and stuff that she she sent the the videos over and able to trace that back to her. That's where I have a big question though. How does he trace that back to her? Because how can you just like obtain somebody's stuff like that and then know who it belongs to? You know, like usually I'm pretty sure you have to like go into a lab and you have to obtain like a thing of hair, but then you also have to obtain like the other person, like the person that you're testing's hair to verify that these two things match, right? Like how did they get the other one and then verify that it's Misa's who's they grabbed, right? Like they have... I don't know. I feel like there's no way to really do that. And I don't know how L can't just do that on the spot, like the moment they met right then and there. So unless like the guy following them was able to obtain info from her or like grab something from her and then they were able to test it like that. But I don't think that's the case at all because that doesn't make much sense. So maybe, maybe I'm overlooking something, but I feel like the show in general overlooks something there. Uh, or I don't know. I, I think that might be the case. I mean, it's cool regardless. That's a cool way to go about it and like figure everything out because it's her, you know, not being careful and all this, but I don't know. To me, it just, this seems a little off regardless. The L was fantastic throughout that whole interaction that they all had. I'm so happy Misa showed up, uh, L walking behind her, like taking the phone light immediately trying to separate to go give a call. And then immediately the phone rings with L holding the phone. Fantastic way to do that. Fantastic reveal. Absolutely love that. But does that not raise suspicions immediately for L that Light is immediately contacting Misa, this other person who he's immediately under the impression of is the second Kira. So he's thinking that she's the second one specifically because of the stuff that they got back with the letters and everything and the the videos. So that makes sense why he doesn't think that she's the original one. But then why is Light, you know, going out with her now? Why is Light suddenly trying to contact her like immediately after she left and whatever? Like, 
immediately after he says he's got to go to the bathroom and like tries to separate from him like i i would raise suspicions to me and i'm not saying it didn't we didn't really have any proof that it didn't raise suspicions and he said that he's going to bring in light you know under a suspicion so it probably did but i just i feel like he would have tried to capture light and misa like then and there you know but i don't know that's that's interesting though uh i like how dedicated and determined she was to not reveal anything i liked the idea of her yelling out to have her killed and her actually be speaking to Rem and not everybody else. But Rem being so like into her and having such like a fascination with her and not like loving her so much and not wanting to be the one who has to kill her, has to find a way around it and then reveals the idea that you can actually just forfeit your death note if you don't want it anymore and then you lose all memories and stuff like that, which I don't think they talked about before. I think this is the first time we're hearing that unless I just don't remember because it's been 15 episodes but i think that's the case so that's also a really cool method because i think we're going to see that getting used again here with light possibly so i don't know but actually now thinking about it my my initial guess was about the fact that they're going to forfeit it and then he's going to do it with rem but that doesn't make any sense because then he would lose all memories regarding it he would have to before he like goes back into it so i don't really understand how that's gonna work so my theory there is probably completely off then but yeah i don't really know how that's gonna be i like rem sticking up so hard for misa though and coming in and telling light i'm going to kill you if you don't find a way to get her back and like like help her and be there for her now and save her yeah overall absolutely just loved everything about it i thought a lot of the setups were really well done uh caught me off guard at moments but just were like great ways to like reveal things and just ramp things up rapidly throughout this episode just overall really 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 good and enjoyed that a lot so that's gonna be all for me though i don't really know like i said once again where we're gonna be headed from here just gotta see i guess whatever the hell is going on with ryu clayton uh rem and then move from there and i truly can't even begin to form how that's gonna take shape so yeah if you enjoyed it all please hit the like and subscribe do really mean a lot to me you can follow me on twitter and my anime list both links are in the description leave any comments down below you thought you think will be useful or just thoughts overall about the episode feel free to also check out the other videos on the channel and i'll be back for another episode of death note soon you have a good one peace